G'day, mate. It's Alex here. Is that Australian, is it? That's Australian, and here's my mate Spencer. Howdy, mate. I'm Howdy. also from Australia today. Why are we doing Australian? Well, I thought it would change things up. <laughs> I'm really rubbish at accents. Hello. Alex and Spencer, as normal. And what are we doing today? Today we are doing 30 facts about us. Alex saw some people make videos where you, you give some quick facts about yourself to let your audience get to know you a bit better and we thought we could do that and share some of our secrets. Ooh, I killed a man. I didn't kill a man. It, was, right. a, it was a little boy. Let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. 30 facts about Spencer and Alex go. coming at you. Spencer and I met in the first year of university, but we didn't start going out until after uni. I went to a couple of different schools, like primary schools, secondary schools, what have you, but I went to the same primary school as Frank Lampard, the footballer, and Joe Thomas, the in-betweener, went to my secondary school. Did he go to you? Basawanka! They were never there when I was there. Oh. I never even saw them. Never met them. I am half Polish, half American, but fully English. How does that work? Well, I was brought up in England, but I've got heritage roots in Poland and America. But I feel fully British. All of my immediate family, so my mum, my dad, and I've got two brothers, we all begin with S. We've got Spencer, and we've got my dad called Steve, my mum's called Cindy, uh, with an S. And then my brothers are called Seb, as in Sebastian, and Saunders. There are only seven people in the world with my surname. And they all belong in my family. It's a rare surname. It's very rare. O S I P C Z A K. When I was at secondary school in year seven and eight, uh, I used to represent the school quiz team, which was fun. Buzz. That's why I'm so intellectually intellectual. I was born and raised in South London. If you're from, not from England, that was South London, she just said. And we are still living here. Yeah, we live in South London. I'm from Essex originally. This next fact is quite a sensitive one, really. Um, I only have half an ear. I mean, it's not true. I've got one and a half ears. But my brother sometimes used to call me half ear when I was younger as a joke, which was very funny at the time. <laughs> Basically, I was just born with a little bit of my ear missing. Very interesting fact. You know you've got security pins on the back of your bank cards? Three digits on the back. One day, we found out we had this exact same security pin <gasps> and we were at different banks. Oh my god. OMG. Out of all the security pins in the world, we had the exact same pin. Alex and I both share a love of peanut butter. Who doesn't? Peanut, good. Butter, good. good. Peanut butter, good. excellent. And good. <laughs> I used to represent my county at swimming and running at school. I was so good. When I was younger, I learned a valuable lesson about crime. When I was seven years old, my dad took me to the London dungeons with my brothers. And when we got to the gift shop at the end, he told me I could have one present. There was a couple of things I liked. There was a model of a statue that was pretty a solid statue model. And then there was a holographic sticker and we all liked them. And I couldn't choose between the two. So what I did is I got my dad to buy the statue figure and I pocketed the sticker thinking I was like basically a modern day Bugsy Malone. And then on the way home, I remember boasting to my brother, telling him, look, I nicked one of the things. And he went, Dad, Spen nicked one of the things. My dad pulled over the car, took me out, had a go at me, and then a police car went past. Pure coincidence, but he was like, they've come for you, you know, they're going to lock you up in a dungeon. And since then, I've never stolen anything. Good life lesson. Don't steal from the London dungeons. I used to work for a premiership footballer. Now, I can't tell you who he is, but you could probably guess from the following clues. He is a Premier League winning captain, and he's also captain to an international team who are hotly tipped to do well at this summer's World Cup. If you know who you think that is, leave a comment in the description area below, thingy majiggy. I think I know who it is. Do you? It's no secret we like computer games, don't we? It's not a secret. It's not a secret. One of our favourite ones is Mario Kart. Probably the best computer game of all time. On the Wii, with the steering wheel remote, I beat her every time. We also like playing COD together, which is quite weird for a boyfriend and girlfriend, I think. Yeah, and I actually beat you quite a lot in that game. Not, not quite a lot. You have beaten me sometimes, but I always win on average most of the time. We are in love with Netflix. People are going to think this video is sponsored by Netflix now. It's definitely not, because to be fair, there is a lot of rubbish on Netflix. We have been loving Arrested Development. Then we were on Breaking Bad. Yep. Uh, recently, we checked out House of Cards, and they're all so good. And you just end up watching about seven episodes in a row. And every time one finishes, it starts the next one. It says, in five seconds, the next episode's going to start. And you sort of, you look at each other, and you go, shall we? Eh? Eh? 
Now, my mum is quite funny, really. She um, has been on TV a lot. She is obsessed with being a guest on quiz shows. She's actually been on so many different TV quiz shows. She's been on some of these that don't even exist anymore. Crystal Maze, Wipeout. Uh, Love in the Afternoon. Love in the Afternoon, Wheel of Fortune, uh, Pets Win Prizes. Uh, there's a lot more I can't even think of right now. Basically, if you could think of like a 90s TV quiz show, my mum was probably on it. We like to keep fit, I think you can tell by looking at us. And a couple of years ago, I did something called the Great River Race, which is like a river marathon. We were in a boat and we had to row uh, 23 miles along the Thames. Last year, I did the London Sprint Triathlon. I think I pretty much just smashed it, so... Smashed it out of the park, yeah. mate. And then also together we did something called Survival of the Fittest, which is like one of those obstacle course running races, 10k, um, at Battersea Power Station. So yeah. On the note of competitions, we are pretty competitive. We're the... so competitive. Oh, I'm, I'm more competitive than you are. No, I'm, I think I'm more competitive. I think I'm the best at being competitive. I'm also very modest. Our competitiveness has got quite not difficult now basically if we go around our friend's house and stuff they usually have some kind of competition prepared I used to do a lot of uh, stand-up comedy and I've actually had the privilege of performing on the same bill as Stephen Merchant and Kevin Bridges which was quite fun I have two nephews both my brothers have baby boys my brothers have no children my mum and dad got married on an aeroplane when I was seven years old, I was technically left on my own in France, abandoned by my family. Um, I could give, go into more detail to make it sound like they're not that bad, but I'm just going to leave it at that. I was left in France at seven. Simple <laughs> play. That's why I speak French now. Bonjour. Alex and I both have brothers who are very talented sportsmen. Alex's brother Nick is an MMA fighter. He's been in the UFC. He was on a show called The Elmer Fighter. He's a dangerous man. Don't mess with him. Or me. You can mess with her. Well, don't. I'd rather you didn't. And I, my brother is very good at golf. He won a competition called the Trilby Tour last year, which was on Sky Sports, and it's the biggest amateur golf competition. So he did very well there. Some of you may know this one already. I am a shareholder in a football club called Real Oviedo, which is a Spanish team. And I went out there and made a film about it, which you can actually find on my channel, youtube.com Spencer Owen. Vlog! There are two things in this life that I cannot say no to. Food-wise. Crisps and cheese. I love it. So she loves cheese and onion crisps because it combines them both. Throughout my life I've had a lot of different pets, mostly sort of family pets and I lived at home with my parents. I remember having rabbits, guinea pigs, uh, cockatoos, like little budgie sort of things, um, ponies, my mum had some ponies, obviously dogs, we've had two legendary border collie dogs for a long time. Fish, I used to have rabbit? fish as well. I said rabbit. Oh, I said Pay rabbit. attention. Alex, you haven't had any pets, have you? I've had none. I wasn't allowed any pets when I was younger. We were told we could have fish. We just thought, well, that's not even worth having as a pet. So we just sacked that off and decided to have none instead. One of my big life ambitions is to have a dog called a Tibetan Mastiff. They're big lads, known for being the bodyguards, or guard dogs, of uh, Genghis Khan, who is that, you know, legendary fighter from history times. One day I'll have one of those bad boys and we're gonna, I'm gonna have two and walk down the street, one on each hand, just wait for someone to say something to me. I'll go, what's that mate? Got a bit of Mastiff here, son. I played piano when I was younger and I got up to grade six. I think there's a lot of other guys who are probably like me on this one, uh, but I don't really like beer. I don't really like the taste. I always thought as I'd get older, eventually I'd, I'd like the taste, but it never grew on me, so uh, I don't really drink it that much. You don't like beer either, do you? I don't. I think I know most girls don't like it, but I've never had more than a sip. Now, I'm not proud of this, but I actually do hold a school record for the most attentions in one term. Um, do I, you? When I was about 15, I think it was year 9 or year 10, I got something like 25 or 26 detentions in one term, all, mostly for a German, from a German teacher, she didn't like me. Those are all the facts from us. If you liked this sort of video, then please let us know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up. Sure, and let us know what sort of content you want to see on the channel going forward, and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Spencer, she's been... Alex. Bye. Bye. What's an Essex girl's favourite wine? Can we go to Lakeside? Hehehehe <laughs>